Hey guys, wanted to make a quick video um, showcasing the new production sample for the Foxbox Unity case. Keep in mind this is a sample, so um, there will be some slight changes to improve. You'll notice a few slight flaws in the case right now, and those will be uh, eliminated before production. Um, we already have uh, a list of fixes in place that our manufacturer is working on now. Um, first up, uh, there were some concerns over the power cable coming out sideways. Worrying, people were worried that it was going to make the case a lot wider. Uh, no worries, this thing bends super easily. Um, it's very, very easy to just put it at a right angle like that. I'm not, see it's quite flexible, it's not a big deal. Um, so you can just put it right up against the side there. It only adds about five millimeters extra width, so no worries. Next up, uh, the power switch. So this is for the smart switch. So this is a momentary push button switch with an internal LED. It plugs into this port right here. You can see all the ports on the case have dust plugs. So when you're not using them, you can keep them sealed up and safe from debris. The switch plugs in like this. You press it short to turn on and it's a long press to turn off. The switch will be fully configurable in the app so you can turn on features such as push to start, under voltage lockout to protect your battery if you bypass your BMS, and it also supports auto turn off after a delay if you want to enable that feature. Let me demo a few of the ports here for you. So this is the uh, LCD port, and it uh, is connected to raw battery voltage after the power switch and is also fused. So you can plug in an LCD voltage monitor or some other auxiliary device if you'd like and it will supply raw battery voltage and up to 300 milliamps, which is what the fuse is rated to. Um, a battery meter will typically draw around you know, 10 to 15 milliamps maximum. So it will work perfectly for that and switch on and off as you power on and off your board. These are the two hall sensor ports, common to what you're familiar with the VESC, six pin JST PH. So they support hall sensors and also an internal temperature sensor on the motors if uh, your motors include that. Next to these are the phase wires for motor one and motor two uh, and the bullet jacks. On the back side here, we have USB-C for programming. This is a four pin CAN connector, so you can uh, chain together a Unity and two VESCs. You can chain together a Unity and another Unity for four wheel drive. You can chain together um, any other external peripheral that runs off of a CAN bus. This is the seven pin port, which is a standard um, defined by the VESC. So uh, all of your other auxiliary peripherals that run UART, I2C, etc., will be compatible with the Unity. This is the five pin port, so this is where the switch plugs in. You'll notice the switch currently is only using four of the five pins. There's actually a second support for a second LED. Um, for instance, you can get a bicolor switch that would have both a white and a red LED, but we couldn't find one in a form factor that we liked for a competitive price. So we went for the single color LED, but the light within the LED is controlled by the microcontroller, so you'll get status output through the single LED, and you can get even more information out if you get a bicolor switch in one of your custom builds. The final connector here is the servo connector. So included with the Unity will be this servo cable. So here it's a three pin XH connector, so 0 0.1 inch spacing, and um, you plug it in here, and then the other end can plug into your remote receiver if it's a PPM controlled remote. Lastly is, yeah, the power connector as I demoed before. And then I also wanted to show off the um, included Bluetooth module. So this guy, you can see we can take this case off here. It's a rubber case. That's the aluminum heat sink underneath which sits there. And this guy, just plugs into these header pins and will come already installed with every Unity ordered. And it is an NRF52 module. This is obviously just a sample. It'll probably be a matching color to the PCB. And it sits inside of there. There's a little peg that keeps it all safe. It's protected inside the case and it gets um, 
it gets really great reception in there. We've been testing it. It's no worries. There's not too much metal around the antenna. Um, it works great and from a very long range, like outside of the room kind of range. So that's working well. Here's all the dust plugs, etc. You'll notice some of these are these thicknesses are being tuned to fix the errors there. These are the status LEDs coming through there, and there's also LEDs that shine through the case here for the Bluetooth module, and um, eventually there will also be an internal receiver for a new remote that's currently under development. Um, other than that, someone asked about the weight, so I wanted to quickly weigh this for you guys on video just to show you. So here is the unit itself. You can see it's about 246 grams. Why not add the servo cable and switch in as well for a grand total? of 260 grams. Cool, all right, thanks, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and I hope that answers some of your questions about you know, what the Unity is gonna look like. Thanks.